for the saints. Uh, I had an individual come to me the other day, and I asked permission to speak on this. It's presented as a speaking, and, and they said, yeah. Uh, I had an individual come to me the other day, and uh, they uh, had someone approach them and uh, made a confession, an open heart confession to them. Uh, and the confession was that they had smoked a joint and they wanted to let them know and they didn't want it to affect their relationship. You know, because I know some people that that would affect the relationship with it. Now, when this happens, you have just been blessed with a, with a rare opportunity. It is not too often that a good and honest heart, remember the sower and the seed parable? It's not too often that a good and honest heart comes before us. And when that comes before us, man, it is a time for some seed planting. Now, we don't have to plant the whole Bible at one time. Just plant a seed. This is what I told the individual. And I, I speak it because I believe it, because God said it. Okay? And this is this is it. Nothing, not one thing that enters my old body defiles the temple of God. Not one thing. Nothing. Now, I believe it. And I speak it because God said it. So if I if I believe that, then I speak that because God said it then I have to take that into, that has to cover everything, everything, cigarettes. Some people don't like coffee, see it's bad for you. Even smoking that joint. See, it has to cover everything, because if it doesn't, then it becomes my word. To stop being God's word, it has now become my word. And then just, you know, man, you just hug them and, 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 and thank them for knowing that they can come to you with that open heart of confession. A lot of people ain't got that there. They don't have a place to go like that. Mm -mm. They, they, you know, uh, like I, I spoke before after the lady came visit us, crying her eyes out just opened up, poured everything out because she couldn't speak to her uh, folks down there. She's been known for 30 years or more, all of her lifetime at her church. She said our table and just opened up, poured, and just bawled. Uh, even a confessional, uh, like you see in the Catholics, it's, it's like a private thing. You're not supposed to know who each other is or something, you know. And that's unscriptural. Uh, but when somebody comes to you like that. That's that's a blessing. That's time to do some seed planting. Like I said, now we don't have to douse them with the whole Bible. We, don't, we just look just a little seed. A little seed. A little mercy. Compassion. I love you. Thank you for coming to me. This is what God says on the matter. And if God says it, I believe it. Okay? So, to that individual, I want you to know something. You are so blessed to have that person in your life that can that will come to you with an open heart, that good and honest heart. You're blessed in that area. 
to that individual that came to that person and opened their heart. You're blessed as well to have someone you can go do that with. When we did our discipleship in the house, rule number one, what happens in-house stays in-house. Now, I can use it as counseling. You know, we don't go around gossiping about things we heard. You know. But I can use counseling like this, and speaking like this, as long as I don't mention no name, dates, and places, and all that stuff, you know, so. Y'all take a moment. Take a moment. Do you have someone in your life? I'm just going to show you something. Do you have someone in your life that can come to you with an open heart and empty it to you? Knowing that you will not Judge them without mercy and without compassion. If you have someone in your life, man, I'm telling you, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, hey, I love y'all. I'm going to go finish my coffee. And got started yet this morning, but I wanted to speak on this uh, thing, this blessing that I, I got to be a part of, just a little part. Just a little part, but man, it was a blessing to me to hear about something like that. So, hey, love y'all, praying for you, and I'll see y'all next time around.